Where is it? I've looked everywhere for it, and I can't find it. Tyler. Huh? Who's there? Tyler. That voice, it sounded very familiar. I just can't place my finger on it. Tyler, it's me. Game. Game and Watch? What? No, not Game and Watch. Game. Uh, Game Gear? No, not Game Gear. Game. The Game of Thrones? Oh god, is it George R. R. Martin? Am I about to be killed? Just let me finish. I am Game Boy Color. Game Boy? I remember you. You're one of my first handhelds. Where are you? Look down. That's, uh... That's really embarrassing. Now play. Play that which was the first game we played together. Okay. Ah, Pokemon Yellow. To many people, this is the first Pokemon game they'd played, including myself. Much has already been said about this series, but I doubt more could be said. Heck, I'm still playing the games to this day. One of the best features was that Pikachu just follows you around. Look at that. He's just following you around. It's... it's so cute. <laughs> it was always satisfying as a kid to turn around and see how Pikachu was doing. In most of my cases, I remember him being very upset with me, but that may have been due to the fact that I didn't quite understand the type advantages at that age. I mean, come on. Yellow version was meant as that sort of tie-in game with the anime, and when you see Ash just sending his Pikachu in to use electric attacks against, hmm, I don't know, a rock type and still win, it's kind of misleading to a five-year-old. Which would explain why I had such a hard time as a kid trying to beat the game. But, you know, by the time I beat the Elite Four, I had the strongest Pikachu ever. Oh. And can I point out how cool it was to hear the little Pikachu when you start the game? I mean, that was great. Anyways, you play as Red, or in the case of Pokemon Yellow, Ash. And you have just turned 10. What better thing to do than go out on a journey with a bunch of dangerous monsters that could easily murder you? But before you can do that, you're stopped by Professor Oak, who then manages to find a freaking Pikachu in the first route of the game which is the only, and I mean only, Pikachu you find in the entire game that isn't owned by another trainer. What, does Oak have some kind of weird Pokemon summoning abilities that we don't know about? That would explain why he manages to get a Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle in the other first gen Pokemon games when you can't find them anywhere else. Next, you're brought to his lab, where upon arrival, you meet your rival, Green, Blue, or in my case, Gary who impatiently takes the only Pokemon left, like a dick, and then rubs it in your face. After that, the game is rather simple. Go to the routes. Go to the towns. Go to the gym leaders. Go to the other towns. Go to those gym leaders. Beat them. Get a badge. Get enough badges. Go to the Elite Four. Beat them. Simple. And, you know, also catching adorable creatures that you force to fight each other. I'm sure nothing that I say about the Pokemon series will be new or creative enough to make it seem even more of a well-developed series with a rich world and great gameplay. A lot goes on behind the scenes of a Pokemon game. For example, Giovanni isn't that bad of a guy. Yes, he does run a crime syndicate, but it is heavily hinted at that he is trying to get the Master Ball from Slipco to try and stop Mewtwo. You don't even get to know how important the constant meetings with Giovanni and Team Rocket are until you make it to the last gym, and after braving its challenges, you see him, the leader of Team Rocket himself, Giovanni. Then you make your way to the Elite Four, fight the hardest Pokemon battles of your life, and you become the champion. After, you know, you fight your rival, who has fully healed Pokemon, and you don't, and it's lame when he just completely kills your Blastoise, and you're just like, ah, I'm all out of revives, ah. <clears throat> Sorry, lost my cool. Anyways, eventually you beat him, you become the champion, hooray, and then you can go catch Mewtwo. This game is a classic, and definitely worth giving it a shot if you haven't already played this 16-year-old game. Tyler.
I just checked your progress on your most recent playthrough, and it looks like you didn't even make it to Barak. Well, yeah. I played the game so much as a kid that there was no reason for me to beat it. I could recall the story. If you find it so easy, then enjoy living the game until you beat it. Pixelization activate. Pixel what? Now, go on your journey. What are you doing? What does it look like? I'm playing SNES. How? It shouldn't even work. Uh -huh. If you don't go, in the next five seconds, I will erase you from existence. You wouldn't dare. Try me. Alright, alright, I'm going. Why am I not running? Oh no, no running shoes. Alright, I did it. I beat the Elite Four. Are you happy now? So, did you catch all 150 Pokemon? Uh... Alright, I caught all 152. But there are only 151 original Pokemon. Not if you count missing, no. Now let me out. Are you sure? Now! Okay, okay. You know, Game Boy, I've learned a very important lesson. And what would that be? Oh, that I'm taking out your batteries until you can learn not to force people against their will to do something! What? No, I need my batteries. You can't do this to me. I have to run away!